I was about to talk about this situation right now. Anas might be staying at home for a long, long time. Just because his own good pull somewhere down here. He won't have that much of a trek to move towards like last time all the way to Frenzy. That might be very good for him. At the same time, might limit him on how many eliminations he can get in the mid game as he won't stretch. Eliminations are one thing though, Sancho. Placement, mm -hmm. a big other one. Janus kind of using that type of situation to get up top on the leaderboard. It's so important for endgame to kind of get those big time shots and look at that quiet as a field mouse hanging up top tiago oh, almost now tiago's in trouble as the the mouse strikes and gets that big piece of cheese and tiago not right now not today we'll see you in day two yeah not bad run 48 points no doubt just trying to have those good vibes going into day two Sitting here running low on the ammunition now, but not running low on the damage. Does a big tab with 40, goes right in, and finishes Noah. And Noah has been having some success here, but now Pootrick has to be careful here as Enzar, which we saw earlier in the cast. It'll be Noka moving in. Has Brutus's minigun, has the vault key card as well. No one's opened it, and there's no one really camping beside it right now. This was a quick kind of extraction. He will be the one, though, to have the opportunity to go back in. And it's Thomas once again, taken out by someone he can't see. And now Noka really puts on the flames. He's looking to get this next elimination quick. A launch pad put down inside the grotto to move in space. I mean, interesting kind of development for No Word. I wouldn't blame him, though, Sancho. He's been eliminated now two or three times with launches in his, in his inventory, with a lot of materials, with the best guns. But out here in Frenzy Farms, and now we have a classic box fight situation. Nice little stair flip right there. He's getting a little bit closer into it. And have an opportunity to kind of just pick his way right through. Not overly committing right now. Letting the weapons do the talking for a bit. It's a nice little reach into it. We see a lot of different box fighting play styles play out. Some people like to get right up there with the pickaxe. But you have to be careful to get edited on. So Maestro is taking his time, using the, the harpoon. We've been, you know, that's a, a weapon that's been kind of like the, the underdog use here. It's been a, a big time player in a lot of play styles. As Maestro gets out of Alpha, train hard, goes down. But that, that's what I'm talking about, like the harpoon there. If they're playing defensively and it's working and you switch them on the offensive, like we just saw right there from Maestro, you can get into a 50-50 position. If it's what you wanted and you planned for it, you end up winning. Right now though, Putrick still held all the way back inside zone boats all the way around actually breaking off his base getting up close and personal he's gonna look to hopefully end this fight has a med kit to prolong things but he might not have to use it if he gets that tag and he does it's kaiser actually going down oh my goodness kaiser showed up with the boat every i'm the gamer dad and he's gonna come on out everybody's doing well here you're one of the best players in the world in your region no matter what happens here today and tomorrow you gotta hold your hair at head high and know that you had a great ride. But Moki is gonna try to continue that ride today. Getting up a little bit closer here, nine points. Some nice pressure on these fresh wood builds. Now we have a little build fight. She has great materials, great resources that this fight takes a little bit longer. As the storm has about two minutes and there's no one in sight here, Shio, to third party this. And both Moki and Shade have a big chance. This elimination here, even this game, could mean so much to them with the next six that are going to be playing tomorrow. If they just have a slight pedestal to boost themselves off of, if it's just slightly higher than their overall points, it'll be so good. A ramp actually blocking Moki from following through at the same speed that Shade kind of escaped. And now she'll have to look through these trees to see exactly. And has Shade on the low health right now. Moki on the official broadcast showing what she does best. The big flick of the wrist right there and gets a nice hit with the pump. And Mookie Ride continues on. And you can see, you can feel, you can kind of feel that ease of release right there. The way she's jumping around, feeling good about it, making sure no one gets some tags on her. Now we're on board here with Mongrel, who's been kind of walking around here in Salty Springs. He's going to need some puff up games here very soon in order to compete for those placings. And that's a big time pop of 126. And Vandale goes right out of the server. It'll be Mitro hunting down Trulex at the moment off of a disengage. This will get Trulex very upset. Might see a hold over here, but one thing that can break the hold, one item in the game that only one person can hold, it'll be that grappler. It'll be Sky's loot, and Mitro has it. He's looking for his next opportunity to both reposition. The old school classic bush play here, Shio. 
Yeah, this is not a chapter two bush either. This is a complete chapter one strat, and Mitro just always knows naturally where the player will try to escape to. People always say it's a 50 50 where you're gonna put that ramp, but if you're just experienced in fighting, you know the position of where the zone's gonna go, you'll know the best place to kind of stop players in their tracks when they try to retake the high ground on you. Storm forming. The calm before the storm on this side of everyone's kind of just parking their way into the circle. They're seeing a lot of people not trying to take too many fights. No doubt Storm Surge will be a factor here because we're on board here with Blackie. Blackie with 33 points. Not of a great kit in terms of power weapons here, in terms of damage output, but doing very strong. And look at the ability of just kind of farming and chilling out. And he almost opened, and now he just starts his opening engagement right now. And a lot of people are focusing on this in his glory gets sent out into day two and Blackie here now is gonna have to play some defense and and, and hold on tight she hold as everything else is collapsing Blackie's dreams is collapsing right here to survive here into day one but uh, that's what happens when you take these kind of fights when people are parked up into high elevation places here Shio just to get any kind of placement points I mean the big factor could be I mean one point man could be thousands of dollars one point could be getting into that top ten so that's why you're seeing these normally confident, aggressive players just mining and waiting for those being that right opportunity. And Loki gets one right here. Big time hit on left eye. And that's unfortunately the end of the run for her left eye. Two times getting picked out in these early circles. Yeah, Losik just getting that pick off. Maybe left eye needs to keep both open. Yasin and Chapix now just caught in the fray of a lot of people. It's so noisy on this side of the server. Noka looking for shots all the way up to Moraine. The Swedish winner, or the Sweden winner, might just get taken out immediately. Mm -hmm. From Dreamhack, and now he's down to the box where Blackie was as well, moving in towards the zone. We know how hyper-aggressive people are on this side of the circle. Everyone just looking for a chance at eliminations, but right now Blackie just surviving with a sliver of HP, finally taken out. Looked kind of troublesome for Noka overall over there, but now he's on the way to his next moment in the game. It might get stopped, though, by both Fastroki and Pink. The underclass weapon here. Where it's going to be an ice way to get inside more boxes and kind of scorpion his way into more. And there it is, that 180 hit. Altor, day one is done as Milan's day two is going to come up. And I like the momentum for him, Milan. He's going to, I feel like it's no one that we haven't talked about. Someone no one really predicted would do well, but it is doing well. And that momentum is going to be strong for them in day two. Yeah, I mean, so many other players as well to take account of. Amplify, who's kind of had a lead on the entire lobby multiple times, game to game, just gets taken out by the one-star individual who ends up winning out these games. Frey as well, the flopper specialist, although <laughs> in some of these end games, maybe in the top five as well from time to time, can't clinch out these wins. And it's not like he's playing Janice's playstyle. He's looking for pop-offs, not really consistency overall too much opponents but no one's shooting just yet it's a free rotation almost a close tack might be a crazy man trying to break into his box fray though can just stop it a 360 pump Ooh. shotgun with an ar afterwards not sure if it was on purpose but this is one of the issues of moving earlier a grappler now available for fray we'll see if he can keep moving forward oh that was mitro mitro had the grappler and he was making his way that was the crazy man that was in the box now janice is here in the cone looking for some beam opportunities See if you can catch someone with their back exposed. Sliver of hopes to try to get some tags here. That's just 39 people left in the lobby. And Janice gets some big tags on his way partner. And Frey is adios. Sebi all the way near the back. Stair tarps coming out left and right. Launch pads being used. Sebi, though, will be in control on position on the entire European server. Knock down a few flights. He'll just have one elimination. Look back for more. Does not currently have height. Scully still up in it, still lighting up the feed. Chevy just getting in from the week two. Doing really well here with 28 points. It's good to have it. Rocking the Travis Scott outfit. Looking for an astronomical game here right now. As Sebi is doing his best with a nice tarp out right now. Barely in. Now he's going to edit down the floor and look some more tags. Has to be careful because that was a fresh brick wall. And that gave someone the green light to take some tags. And Savage does get an elim in the feed. 
Savage survives, now has shield to play with. Taysom though, alive as well. We know how disastrous it is when you just come up, come up against his box next to that zone. Sebi though, has the tools of destruction for endgame. Has the position on his old tarp to take edits, and he does. It's Mongrel with no materials, lost all the way in the forest with no help, no guidance taken out by Sebi. He'll get the heal up all the way back to 150 effective HP. Look for his next target. He is controlling this entire mid-ground layer, but the build, Sancho, they're so high. No and Scully all the way up top as Queasy makes new height possibly. This has to resolve though. Who will hold height here in 7th zone? It's Scully. Yeah, here it is. Flicker right now, raining down terror. This is another mythical weapon in play still. Wolfies picks up one on Airwalks. This is getting tight. Really difficult and tight and claustrophobic here for our competitors as Flick tarps out just a little bit to gain some. Get ahead of the storm just a hair. Milan gets an Elam, Verox gets an Elam, Queasy goes down, one of the Victory Royales, and now Flex is just looking for someone who's trying to breathe inside the storm, and Cammy goes down here, Shadayo, it is really close to that top 10, baby. And no one knows that Flick has that Tommy gun just yet. There it goes right in the drum gun. Going straight into the box of Diablo. He gets taken out. Savage, though, still active. Taking out Verox in that feed. A top 10 situation. And it's way up high in the sky as well. Multiple people need to waterfall down. This is not even ultimate height. Flick, though, treating it like it's an early game off spawn contestion. 50 50 ing into the boxes of some of the greatest players. Wolfies getting taken down. And Flick rides the huge wave of momentum as Scully gets pushed down by Janice, who grappled all the way to the top sebi on low top six scully taken out sebi taking out savage on low ground it's going over old bills here sancho everyone knows what they need to do janice needs to hold height sebi needs to make sure low ground is clear hen goes down now four people just left janice looks to hold his lead on europe in day one yeah, that's right janice Waiting for that prime opportunity to get there with the grappler now is sitting at height. Does not have a lot of builds here, Shio. So it's going to be the Yanis to use some clever trickery with it. And he does get punished here as Flick continues on to the rest of this ride. It's a top three situation here in the final game of day one. Shio, Tayson, Sebi, and Flick. Let's go. Yep, and now it's going to be Flick right over top on Tace and chooses maybe to get that grappler. He did. I think he might have left it behind in Storm either way. While they get busy, Sebi is free all the way on low ground. No floppers, I don't think, in his inventory. We saw them use them earlier, so it might not be possible for him to win that heal game all the way at the end. Flick, though, trying to get safe, but at the cost of a little bit of HP. Every single dot is so important. Every single tick of health, and he takes so much, he has to go for this elimination. It's not possible. E11, Tace and HD on top right now. Has that grappler once again and drops down, surprising Sebi from the back. Both of them in even HP overall. Sebi slightly lower. He's looking for a chance to survive. One flopper. Does he have two? Can we see a little bit of heals? It'll be enough. Sebi, a climactic, tense finish. Don't have to see weapons trade at the end. All right, he had a game plan from the beginning. He didn't want to win overall every single game, but he wanted to perform when it mattered all the way to the end spot of the entire tournament. He's playing the format basically perfectly, and because of that, he's in first place here at day one after the six games.